Hello everyone and welcome back to Humble Heart Horsemanship. My name is Sabrina and today's vlog is basically an update following the other vlog that I created a few days ago. Basically on Thursday was the start of a snow and an ice storm and that continued through Thursday night into Friday. And Friday morning at three in the morning, we ended up losing our power and we also heard very, very loud crashes in our house. It turned out two fairly small trees landed on both our back gazebo and the corner of our house. And from three in the morning till the next day, we had no power and then the day after that we had a power but it only lasted a few hours and then this morning our power turned on. We were without power for like two and a half days. It's freezing outside, we had no heat in our house and we were basically camping in our house in freezing temperatures. So it's been a crazy past few days and this snow and ice storm has caused so much damage. It's crazy. There are so many fallen trees down. Um, there's just a lot of damage that has happened to the town in which I live. So I haven't been able to come out and see the horses until right now. So you are joining me at the barn. The horse in the background over here, that is my friend Liz's horse, that's Hero. So since I'm the first one really at the barn, I decided to turn him out for her since she's unable to make it out today. That way he'll get some time outside. But it's starting to rain pretty hard. And uh, it's crazy because here there's no snow and no ice, but back in the town where I live, there is still a lot of snow and a lot of ice. So it's interesting how like a 30 minute drive can completely change what the climate is like. wasn't sure if we would have power here or not but it looks like they have power so that's good I'm also going to clean up hero stall too just while I'm here just in case she can't make it out so I'll make this all clean for him clean now I did a pretty quick job cleaning it so it's not perfect but at least it's cleaner than it was before hey. all right hero's back in his nice clean stall he's also wearing this adorable unicorn blanket which is like the cutest thing ever Ah, look at you, you all set now. I also just finished getting all of these totes filled for the boys. What are you crazies doing, huh? What are you doing? Crazy boys. Sliding around and running in the mud. You guys, look at Gunner's beard. He's grown, look at that. Do you see all that? Got a nice beard going on, Gunner. He looks beautiful. He has a nice beard. I told you guys that Gunner loves this spot in my last vlog. He's the one that primarily likes to hang out under here. It got so dirty over the course of me not being here for like three to four days. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? You got something stuck in your teeth first? You look a little silly. <laughs> so I'm gonna clean this out once again, make sure it's all clean for them because they're supposed to have so much rain for the next week. You guys, look how dirty Gunner is. Can you see this? Can you see this boy? Look at him. You're so dirty. He says, don't tell him I'm dirty, you guys. You guys, you really had to come in here at the same time. I was just about to clean it. You were out there in the field, and now you had to come in here? They're like, this is how we demand attention. 
<laughs> right when I'm about to go clean their shelter, they both go into the shelter. This is how they get their attention, because they know whenever mom's around, they're gonna get attention. And keep in mind that they have all of this space out here that they could be hanging out in, but no, we gotta go where mom needs them not to be. <laughs> Runner, are you quote unquote helping? Are you trying to help? Yeah, is that what you're doing? You guys are joining me back again in my car. It's a different car. I decided to jump in the car to get dry and warmed up just a little bit. And then I'm hoping to bring Gunner in and ride him for a little bit because it's been well over a week since I've ridden him. So he definitely needs to be exercised. And I'm sure he would be happy to get out of his pasture and have something to do because he's just been in the pasture like all week long with his brother. Can you guys hear all of that rain? It's so loud. really supposed to be like this for a whole week too. I'm like, man, that is a lot of rain. <laughs> but that's Oregon for you, right? Like, there's always a lot of rain here. You guys, I've never been in the barn arena when both of the side doors have been closed. Look how dark it is in here. Turn these lights on now. There we go, that's better. Oh, you're so dirty, Gunner. Look how dirty you are. Look at all that mud. Yeah, are you proud of yourself? Anyone else have a horse whose mane suddenly has decided to flip to the other side because his mane used to all be on his right side and now some of it's flipping over to his left side. And I'm like, oh, this is, this is interesting. So we have a little mane over here. So a little mane over here. ride bareback today. It's really, really windy and pretty stormy, and so I decided to not ride Gemini a few days before I ride Gemini. But good old trusty Gunner here, he is always such a really sweet, reliable boy who always takes care of me. So we're gonna go for a quick little ride in the arena. Gunner needs exercise pretty frequently. He has high articular ring bone, which is basically osteoarthritis in the horse's pastern joint. So to keep him sound, healthy, and happy, we do a lot of light exercise. And for Gunner, that means a lot of walking during our rides. So moving around is really important for horses that have conditions like ring bone or any type of arthritis. Gunner feels pretty stiff right now, but that's pretty normal for the first five minutes or so uh, of our rides. And he gets warmed up over time the more that he keeps walking. Also, we are just coming to the end of a very crazy snow and ice storm where the weather was below freezing. 
That can also make him feel pretty sore too. Let's finish worming him. Typically he's really difficult to worm. He does not like it. But today I think that was one of the quickest times I've ever been able to worm him. So now he's going to get some of these carrot ends as a treat for being such a good boy. Want these? You want them? Oh, that's good, huh? He says, oh my goodness, I love this. Even more, are you ready? <laughs> good boy, Gunny. You waiting for your brother? Are you waiting for him? He says, yeah, I was waiting for my brother. Alrighty, it's time for these boys to get wormed. I already did Gunner inside the barn. And then Gemini has always been really great about being wormed. So now it's his turn. shelter back here enjoying some hay as a snack before dinner and I'm about to hop in my car drive home to get dry and some food the rain is so loud oh my gosh I don't know if you can hear it or not I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it make sure that you scroll down hit that like button and subscribe and me and my horses will see you in the next video bye